Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here, and I'm back today with a really exciting video. Widgie recently turned three years old, and alongside its birthday, Widgie 3.0 has just been released, and it's such an exciting update because it comes with so many anticipated features, such as live activities for widgets, dynamic island widgets, Widgie compilations on your Apple Watch, a new picture-in-picture -picture mode, and many more features and bug fixes with the new release. So let's jump straight into it. And first we're gonna start with a new picture in picture mode. So you scroll down to the widget that you want to display on your screen, select that widget, and then you press the button start in pip mode. That will display the widget and you can take that widget wherever you like, it works just as a video would. Like if you were to use picture in picture mode on YouTube or a streaming service, for example, and you can take that widget with you to whatever you're doing. So it's really handy for productivity. The next feature is the notification badge. And if you look in the top left of my screen, you can see that. And that notification badge can now display whatever you want that to. So if you press the button underneath the notification badge, you can then choose whichever um, piece of information that you like, and it will show up at all times uh, on the app notification dot. The next feature we're going to look at now is live activities, and this is such a great feature because you can display whatever you like on your lock screen. Now, before we dive into that, you can see there's a new UI change. It's really smooth, and it's on the Create and Manage tab, and that comes with many, many different Create New Widgy sizes. Now, these are all now put into categories like Apple Watch, Live Activities, and your Dynamic Islands included but you choose them as you would normally, and then just select and create that widget. So here, I'm just gonna create a new widget for the live activity, just to show you that it's exactly the same as normal. And just like all the other methods in Widgie, you will place that into a relevant slot, which will then display on your live activities. So we're gonna go over to manage now, and as you can see, I've already got some in my slots already. But, so we're gonna choose the third slot and select the one we've just made. Press restart live activities, and this is what it looks like on your lock screen. Now, the great thing about uh, live activities is you can use any widget just like you've already created or from the explore tab. There are some limitations like JavaScript API calls don't work, but ultimately it, anything normal that an Apple device can run, um, it will work like normal. So you just go and import it like you usually would, um, into the uh, widget editor and you can go down to widget size select edit and then you scroll down and see all the different sizes so for this we're going to use a large live activity and then you can add it into your live activity stack just as you would normally and now i'm going to show you the dynamic island obviously you do need an iphone 14 or above for this and the process is very similar you select the size you want and create your widget, or you change the size just like we did before of an existing widget. You go to your Manage tab and select Live, and then you import it to your slot. Press Restart All Live Activities, and then it will display on your home screen, just like a normal live activity would. And now we're gonna have a look at watch complications. Now I do love my Apple Watch, and I use uh, the old Casio style, um, watches so I will show you how to create um, some watch faces in the future but this section is going to be on the complications which will be your native Apple uh, home screen for your watch. Now complications are very much like the home screen widgets um, the round or the rectangle ones that you can use on the lock screen you can use on your Apple watch um, if you were to look on the explore tab you would find those um, in the lock screen and not on the watchy one that is for watch faces only. But in your manage tab, your complications and watch faces will be there. So create your widget like you would uh, like it display on the watch. Uh, go to manage, go to watch and put it in the slot. Then we need to go to the watch app itself. And those of you who haven't done this before, select the watch face that you want to display on. Go to the complications section and select the area that you want to put the widget in. And then, as you can see in front of you, you select more if you can't see the um, the actual slot you need, but select the slot and you will be able to see this on your Apple Watch. So as you can see in front of you, 
We're going to go back to the Widgie app. And here in front of you is my actual Apple Watch. You can see in the bottom right corner, there's still the Widgie logo. That's because we haven't synced it. So we're going to go to Manage and to Watch and press Sync to Watch. And then we're going to get a warning on our phone, just explaining that you need to open the app. So we'll go to our watch and we're going to press any of the widgets and open Widgie on our Apple Watch and your watch faces should display. And once the load screen's finished, that will mean you can press the home button and you should see your complications. And now, to be honest, I only use Widgie complications unless um, I absolutely need to use our native one. I think they're fantastic. And again, there are so many um, complications in the lock screen explore tab. So make sure you look there. You can find hundreds and make your own watch complications. Now, another feature that's been added is quite a small one, but useful, and that is the vertical text alignment. So choose a piece of text that you want to align vertically. Go over to the text tab in the editor uh, where it says line mode. You just press the minus once, otherwise you'll be scrolling through loads. Another text addition is the introduction of the current zodiac sign. That's found in date and time. And you can also get the current earthy branch and the current heavenly stem. And the last addition in text I'm going to show you is the replace text and also the trim text. So something like replace text will be found in text. Press replace and you can do uh, the degree sign and Celsius, for example, if you wanted to remove the Celsius uh, C and just replace that with just the degree sign and press replace. And as you can see, it will replace all of the text you wish. Another thing that I find hilarious is using the Chuck Norris joke and replacing your own name with Chuck Norris because you get some funny responses. And now in the same location, you have your trim text. So if you just press as many times as you want to trim, it will trim the end of that sentence and it will only show the amount of characters that you present in your trim section. And this is great if you want to get rid of a few characters to make complications on your watch much shorter. Now, the final feature I'm going to show you today is just a simple one, and that's color coding on your groups. I use a lot of groups, as you can see in this widget, and the color coding will really help uh, organize that and me identify which group I'm trying to edit. Now, that's all of the major features in Widgie 3.0. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of your dynamic island widgets, your live activity widgets, and your watch complications. Now remember there have been some bug fixes as well and some other additions, so make sure you read the Reddit page and the app description for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, ring my bell, feed my ego, and I'll see you on the next one.